definitely has. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the heck? <laughs> it looks like a pill. Oh right? my gosh, what the? You want to know how I did it? How? So I'm going to make a video about this, right? In a couple weeks, I'm going to put it on YouTube. You can watch the video and then you'll see how I did it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So a while back I made a video about how you could use a coat hanger and a drill to make a watermelon smoothie. And a bunch of you actually did it and told me everyone in your party thought it was awesome, albeit slightly creepy. So this is another watermelon party trick and the key is to start with two watermelons that are similar in shape and size. And then you want to just make a bunch of shallow straight cuts until there's no green left. And then for round two, you want to harness your inner fruit ninja and just make a bunch of little slices until there's only red left. And this looks okay, but the problem is you can still see a lot of edges from the flat cuts. But some brand new dish scrubbing pads make for great watermelon sandpaper. And then it gets super smooth. So the second watermelon's pretty straightforward. You just cut it in two halves, gut it using your favorite method. This is watermelon you could actually eat later at the party as well, and then carve out both halves. So the coolest part is now you can put it back together and take it to the party like this. Just don't forget to chill it beforehand. And this totally works for any size watermelon. And you can get creative too. This is sort of like an impossible ship in a bottle type of concept. So depending on the size of your watermelon, average prep time is about 10 minutes, which is less time than making most other summer party dishes like gross and lame potato salad, which let's face it, nobody really likes. Plus, it's way cooler because once people are done admiring your artwork, you can slice it up and it's super easy to eat because there's no rind to clean up. Wants watermelon? <laughs> or you can just go barbarian. Guy, no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, get a big bite. Watermelon <laughs> bite! <laughs> so before I show myself getting undeservedly ganged up on, I want to quickly thank Audible for sponsoring this video. I'm a fan of learning to be more creative, and I just finished listening to Creativity Inc. by Ed Catmull, who is the founder of Pixar, and widely known as just being a brilliant leader. In it, he mainly talks about all the failures they went through creating each of their hit films. He focuses on how to create teams that truly foster personal creativity and innovation. So if you work on a team that needs more innovation, and you want to listen to this book, or any book, for free, all you have to do is use the link in the description, or go to audible.com, Slash marker over. Those who know me can vouch that I listen to audiobooks all the time just because it's super convenient, especially if you have any kind of commute over five minutes. Look at my sweet watermelon shades. Mm -hmm. <laughs>